Sapia's boxing is over here with Thomas Conflay. How you doing, brother? I'm all right. I'm good. Tell me, you know, how how did it go the fight, man? I mean, are you satisfied with this with the you know scorecard? I'll, I'll, I'll accept the draw because I respect the judges. Um, I personally thought I edged it out and got six to four. Maybe, may, I'm, look, I'm not even going to be biased and say maybe seven to three. I'm, I would, I'll be set at six to four. But look, Gabriel Becerra, man, I tip my hat off to him because he's a warrior, man. He, uh, he still he showed he has a lot left in the tank. And um, it was a fight that I'm proud to be a part of with him. And uh, I wish him nothing but the best. Whether we do it again or not, I wish him the best in his yeah. career. I mean, definitely, I, the crowd... You know, people, they pro they want to see the rematch, you know. Of, of course, you guys got to go back, you know, back to the gym and, do you know, uh, you know, figure out or try to, you know, make an adjustment, you know, in order to, let's say, if that fight is going to happen, you know, eventually, both of you, you're going to come out, you know, with something, you know, different game plan. So, in that particular case, would you like that fight be over here or would you take it in Barclays Center, Brooklyn, or I mean, somewhere else? Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day... There was no buy it. There was no hometown cooking here. the The fight was the, the fight was a close fight, and it, it could have been a draw. You know, six to four, five to five. I'm cool with that. One judge had it, seven to three. Him. I think that's a little outrageous. You know what I mean? Um, but there was no home cooking here. Yeah. He could. I'm sure he could agree with that. There was no home cooking. The judges saw it how he saw it. Of course, we're fighters. We're gonna think we we edged it out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, but. Look, the Barclays Center, that would be cool. Because that means we'll get paid nice. Of course, that would be, you know, a great that'd, fight. That would be nice. Look, he came to my backyard. I will, I will go to Brooklyn. And and we, we could do it. But, you know, it just has to make sense. He told me in the ring. It has to make sense. That's all. He, he And he, and only he's going to know what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, That stays between me and him. That's his business. That's my business. And um, that's just between us. You know? in, in this particular case, would you like to face... Another fighter before, let's say, you face Brocero in order that, you know, make him a little bit more excited, you know, the, the, this fight, you know, for the rematch. We'd like to, you know, do you have anybody, like, maybe in your radar that you would like to face? I mean, um, I'm not thinking of nobody off the top of my head. You know I mean, uh, maybe uh, uh, another fight would be, another fight for me would be ideal. But like I said, no man, I got a baby on the way. I got a little daughter on the way now. Oh, congratulations, bro. We heard so, that, you know, in the ring. And, yeah, so I know. just want to really focus on my family. Um, I went through a hard camp. Uh, uh, Tito went through a hard camp. You know what I mean? So, so um, look, man, at the end of the day, we just have to uh, wait for the right time to come. Definitely, bro. To, you know what I mean? Uh, whatever happens, happens, brother. If he gets another fight, I get another fight. We fight again. We never fight again. Um... Fortunate to share the ring with him. I wish him nothing but the best. I like him. Um, it's, it's all love. It was never no beef. It was a build up to a fight. It was a promotion. Definitely. And, um, you know what I mean? That's really it, man. That's what it is, man. I mean, I would say, you know, definitely we know we're going to start, you know, like seeing, you know, what's coming up from you. Do you have any message for all the fans that you actually you know, came home thank today? All, all, all of my, my supporters that still believe in me, still ride with me. Um, through wins, through losses, through draws now. Um, that, you know, all my, my supporters that came out, we sold out a 1,200 seat showboat for wow, our man. first time, man. We stand in room only. And um, that's only fair. It's only right. You know what I mean? And um, I'm just grateful for all my supporters, all my family, all my friends. Um, whether if you're physically here or just spiritually, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I appreciate it all. Um, big ups to Bracero and his team, his crew. Nothing but love. And um, wish everybody the best, man. For real. Definitely, bro. You know, we start, we're going to start, you know, back to you. You know, and definitely you're going to stay tuned, you know. Um, you know, wishing you the best, you know. Like, for your family, your baby that, you know, you actually, you, you're going to have. And God bless you, bro. And we're definitely going to see you soon. You yeah, know, for sure. thanks we'll again, be back. bro. We'll be back. We're going to fight. I'm going to try to fight, like, two more times this year. I don't know when, but um, maybe it's due in late May. So maybe after that, we'll see what happens. Definitely, bro. Thank you again, bro.